is up, my fellow Call of Duty League gaming stud muffin athletes on the Ghost Debate. Thank you for being here. And in this video, we got some crazy drama, some crazy hacking, cheating, ricochet being hacked, people being banned by hackers anytime they want, and people who have been accused of cheating and hacking are in fact innocent, as shocking as that may be. We have verification that people who we thought and accused of being banned from Warzone for cheating, for using aimbot, for using wall hacks, were in fact banned unfairly and their accounts and the whole damn system itself of Ricochet was hacked by someone, but it is confirmed that someone has the ability to ban anyone in Call of Duty for any reason they want. They don't even have to be playing in the same game. They have somehow hacked the amazing, the amazing Ricochet anti-cheat that is absolutely more useless than a screen door on a fucking submarine at this point. So first of all, first of all, there are only a few people who have actually been banned by this exploit and by this hacker who is going around banning people. Only a few of them have actually been confirmed to be banned unjustly and Bobby Poff is one of those people. So first of all, before we go any further, because I like to keep it real and pack the steel, Bobby Poff, I want to say I'm sorry to you because you were unjustly accused and unjustly convicted for being a cheating scumbag and a hacker when in fact you were not. And Call of Shame himself has actually confirmed this as well, that he was unjustly banned because of this exploit that someone is using to ban anybody they want at any time. Penny Two Wise was also banned by this exploit. Parasite was banned by this exploit. Censor was banned by this exploit. Nuke Jesus YouTube was banned by this exploit. Cloaksy was also banned. And Comeback Skull was also banned by this exploit. Those people are in fact legit. Too legit to quit. They did not cheat. They did not hack. Anybody who's made a video on them, like myself, owes them an apology. So once again, I'm saying sorry to them. However, however, anyone else trying to get caught up in this and try to use this as an excuse to explain their bans is full of shit. So the only people who actually can use this exploit as an excuse are Bobby, Penny Two Wise, Parasite Sensor, Nuke Jesus, Cloaksy, and Comeback Skull. Anybody else trying to get in on this is desperately just trying to muddy the water and trying to clear their name and hopefully morons were going to buy into it, but do not. So anybody else you've seen permanently banned at this point is 110% confirmed cheater. But Bobby Poff is not. He's just a four-eyed dork who plays Call of Duty and is actually good at the game. And sorry again, Bobby Poff. But again, anybody else trying to get their name in this is a cheating son of a bitch is not to be trusted. So it made sense though that this was actually going on when people like Cloaksy or Parasite or Sensor who are actual professional Call of Duty players are getting banned. The rest of these guys still uh, like Nuke Jesus and other ones and whatnot, a little bit Penny Two Wise, a little bit suspect, but when you see Cloaksy and you see Sensor and you see Parasite, we knew something was up. But the information is coming out by the person himself who owns engine owning or one of the cheat providers engine branding. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm not a degenerate nerd who has to go and find cheats to play Call of Duty, but that is the person who has been coming out and saying that that is an exploit. And this looks bad. This looks really bad for Call of Duty Black Ops 6, if we're keeping it real and packing the steel. This ricochet anti-cheat is so bad that someone can hack the anti-cheat and then ban people. How shit is this? What are we doing here? Black Ops 6 is in deep trouble. Right before launch, we got an anti-cheat that is hackable. Not even like doesn't work for catching cheaters. The actual system that's supposed to catch cheaters is compromised and can ban anyone who's not even cheating. How is that? We're, it's over. Like Call of Duty at this point needs to fail. Like it needs to fail. It needs to collapse. It needs to be rebuilt. We The community sucks. The game is in shambles. The anti-cheat is garbage. The developers don't know what they're doing. We need a hero. You know what I'm saying? I need a hero. Because this is not good. This is no bueno. This is not Magusta. This is like super shizened and hosen. We're, we're in trouble. Like Call of Duty Black Ops 6 right before launch is completely compromised. And 
It's going to be the best game ever, guys. It's going to be the number one selling game. That's why it's on Game Pass, because they have to keep the numbers up by giving it away for free or including it in the Game Pass. Otherwise, I'd imagine that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 might look like one of the worst selling games of all time, considering it's supposed to be by the golden child of the Call of Duty developers teams, otherwise known as Treyarch. Treyarch. What do you call it? Treyarch? Treyarch? I don't know, man. I always just call it Treyarch. Treyarch. I think it's Treyarch. I don't give a damn. All I know is I call them shit nowadays compared to their glorious past of Black Ops 2. Black Ops 3, Black Ops 1, and World at War. It's been all downhill. Black Ops 3, I say that, that was their last good game. Black Ops 4 was mediocre. The only reason why Black Ops 4 looks good is because we're comparing morons to morons. Just to reiterate my points, you clear this video up real quick. Bobby Poff, Petty Two Wives, Parasite Sensor, Nuke Jesus YouTube, Cloak Z, Comeback Skull have been banned by an exploit that someone has figured out and has got into Ricochet Anti Cheat. And I want to say sorry to Bobby Poff, but everybody else don't believe the lies. They were all actually banned for cheating. And there's a whole bunch of people out here, Activision Shields, trying to muddy the waters, trying to make their franchise look better than it is because they're nothing more like Modern Warzone and all these dorks out here, nothing more than paid Activision plants, paid Activision advertisers, paid Activision employees, essentially. That's all these doofuses are. So that's the video. Ghost of Vate. Hope you enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, guys. Go hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm Joe Will, guys. Make sure you subscribe to Prime. Yeah, Joe was a cheating piece of shit. That guy can pound sand. But really, really, really most importantly, and last but not least, you know what you've got to do. you got to stay black, question authority, and don't let the honky cracker, reptilian shapeshifters, believe in movies, our spring chemtrails, 7-Eleven inside job, just Google Tower 7, they're up at Bohemian Grove, where's the owls? They're at the slab of the thing, they're in front of the bars, white men.